Dr. James was in the midst of shearing a stray sheep when he noticed something peculiar, embedded in the sheep's fleece was cat litter, a sight he'd never encountered before, leaving him baffled about its presence. What he discovered next brought him to tears right there in the barn. That morning, Dr. James had received an odd phone call from Frank, a local farmer who didn't own any sheep, yet, inexplicably, a sheep had shown up in his barn. The animal was in bad shape. It's fur matted and tangled. Frank immediately contacted Dr. James to examine the sheep, not anticipating the bizarre twist that awaited. Frank, have you seen this? Dr. James exclaimed, eyes wide as Frank approached to see what had been found. Frank gasped, oh my god, how did those get there? Are they okay? How many are there? Can you tell? Shocked, the vet discovered four tiny kittens nestled within the sheep's wool. Dr. James attempted to extract the kittens. But they were firmly entangled in the fleece. To avoid harming them or the sheep, he meticulously sheared the rest of the wool. He then carefully lifted each kitten, wrapping them in a warm blanket. They are still so young, remarked Frank. And he was right, they were barely a few weeks old. Frank quickly called his wife to watch over the kittens while he dashed to a nearby pet store for kitten formula. Meanwhile, Dr. James tended to the sheep, which, surprisingly, appeared healthy despite its neglected condition. How could a sheep survive in the wild for so long without becoming malnourished or sick? And those kittens, it seems impossible, Frank's wife queried. Dr. James shrugged. Honestly, Sandra, I'm at a loss. I've never seen anything like this in my entire career. Just as the vet finished caring for the sheep, Frank returned with warm bottles of kitten formula. The three of them began feeding the kittens, who eagerly gulped down the nourishment. Despite appearing healthy, the tiny creatures were quite hungry, prompting laughter from the vet. Yet, this was merely the beginning of their extraordinary tale. How did the sheep manage to survive in the wild for so long? And the kittens, why was the sheep even carrying them in the first place? Such questions marked the start of an unusual story yet to unfold overflowing with questions and still lacking any answers. Dr. James was resolved to uncover the mystery, though he was unsure of where to begin. Fortunately, Frank proposed an excellent strategy which both Dr. James and Sandra promptly agreed to implement. A notice was sent to all local farmers, inquiring if any were missing a sheep and encouraging them to get in touch if so. At the same time, Dr. James communicated with his professional peers sharing the situation with other veterinarians in the vicinity who maintained records of all animals they attended to. While Dr. James hadn't treated any pregnant cats recently, he hoped one of his colleagues might have and that this could lead them to the mother of the kittens. In the meantime, ensuring the welfare of the sheep and kittens was paramount. They were kept well-fed, hydrated, and warm. It was observed that the animals were distressed when separated, the kittens, in particular would cry out and only settle when nestled next to the sheep, basking in the shared warmth. It seemed they had grown accustomed to each other's company, since it was getting late. Dr. James went home, leaving Frank and Sandra to care for the kittens at the farm, reasoning they were healthy enough to stay where they were comfortable, close to the sheep. The next morning, Dr. James returned to the farm with updates. He had spoken with a colleague who recalled treating a pregnant cat that matched the description of the kitten's mother but had lost track of her after she ran away. The timing of her pregnancy and the age of the kittens aligned, suggesting she could indeed be their mother, though her current whereabouts were unknown. Meanwhile, Frank had also received news. Another local farmer had reported a missing sheep. This farmer agreed to visit and identify if the sheep housed in their barn was his. As Eric's truck approached Frank's farm, a sense of anticipation permeated the air. Upon his arrival, he headed straight to the barn where just one look at the sheep confirmed his suspicions. Eric's eyes sparkled with recognition as he noticed a familiar spiral-shaped pattern imprinted on the sheep's wool, resembling a tiny cyclone. That's my sheep, he declared, his voice a mixture of astonishment and relief. As Eric neared the sheep, his movements deliberate and gentle, he caressed its wool. His expression melting into one of tenderness. I've been with this sheep ever since it was a lamb, he confided to Frank and Dr. James, his tone imbued with both joy and wistfulness. He reminisced about the sheep's playful behavior and its tranquil demeanor among the herd. Up close, the mark on the sheep's wool stood out even more, capturing the attention of all present. It wasn't merely any mark, it was a distinct, naturally occurring pattern within the wool. Both unique and easily identifiable, this natural birthmark, reminiscent of a spiral galaxy, had enabled Eric to immediately recognize his long-lost sheep, 
distinguishing it from the rest of his flock. As they congregated in the barn, Eric began to relate the tale of the night the sheep disappeared. It happened during one of the fiercest storms we've ever experienced, he recounted. His voice laden with the stress of the memory, lightning had struck a tree, shattering the fence. And in the ensuing chaos and noise, the sheep had fled, scared and bewildered. Despite days of searching, the sheep had vanished into the tempestuous night. Pausing, Eric looked at the sheep again, his forehead creased in contemplation. But how on earth did she end up here, with kittens in her wool? He mused aloud, this peculiar scenario was as perplexing as it was miraculous. Frank, Dr. James, and Eric exchanged puzzled looks, each engrossed in their thoughts about this strange enigma. That storm was unlike anything I'd ever witnessed, Eric continued, his gaze distant as he remembered the ordeal. He painted a vivid picture of the howling winds, the relentless rain, and the thunder cracks that seemed to shake the very ground. It was a night of pure chaos, where visibility was reduced to nothing, he explained. The speculation started regarding the sheep's actions that night. Dr. James hypothesized that, driven by instinct and fear, the sheep might have sought refuge in a nearby barn. Perhaps she stumbled upon an abandoned barn, maybe even found the mother cat there, he speculated, trying to piece together the fragmented story of that fateful night. They envisioned the scene, the lost and frightened sheep seeking refuge from the storm, encountering a stray cat possibly also seeking shelter in that shared space. A bond might have formed, an unusual alliance forged by shared adversity. In the heart of a violent natural tempest, the barn offered refuge and warmth, protecting both the sheep and the cat from the wrath outside. The two animals, though unlikely allies, found solace in each other's company, with the sheep's thick fleece providing essential warmth. This unexpected companionship blossomed into a silent pact of mutual endurance against the storm. As the tempest subsided and dawn broke, Eric discovered the barn in chaos, with no trace of her. The farm was left in turmoil, a damaged fence silently testifying to the turmoil of the night. The sheep had disappeared into the early morning fog, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and a deep feeling of loss. In the secluded areas of Frank's barn, Dr. James was captivated by the interaction between the sheep and the kittens. He meticulously took notes, his eyes reflecting his amazement. The sheep, gentle and patient, appeared to adopt a protective role over the kittens. Watching over them as a guardian, the kittens, playful and energetic, frolicked around her, their tiny paws occasionally brushing against her wool. It was a remarkable sight, the large, serene sheep and the lively kittens moving in unison, the kittens always scampering back to the sheep's side, nestling into her fleece, the sheep reciprocated with gentle muzzles, a display of pure affection and camaraderie between species that would typically never interact so closely, the kittens. Curious and playful, often found comfort snuggled against the sheep's warm wool, while the sheep seemed to relish their company, her eyes softening whenever they nestled close to her, a serene expression washing over her face as if she found their presence equally comforting. Dr. James contemplated the nature of their bond, speculating whether it could be driven by maternal instincts, observing the sheep caring for the kittens with a tenderness that seemed to transcend species. Despite never having been a mother, her behavior suggested a deep, nurturing connection, a maternal-like affection that was both intriguing and heartwarming. This relationship between the sheep and the kittens was more than just a product of circumstance. It was a bond shaped by mutual need for warmth and comfort and possibly a shared understanding. Their connection broke the barriers of species, offering a peek into the complex emotional lives of animals that often remain obscured from human view. News of this extraordinary bond spread capturing the attention of local media, reporters descended on Frank's farm, eager to document this unique story. Cameras and microphones became a common sight, capturing the tender moments between the sheep and her unlikely companions and broadcasting this remarkable story to a broader audience, fueling the community's fascination. The story unraveled as locals and visitors, drawn by the enchanting account of a protective sheep and her kitten companions, flocked to Frank's farm. People from various backgrounds marveled at the tender interactions between the sheep and the kittens, their faces alight with curiosity and smiles, speaking in subdued, amazed tones. A local television segment showcased this peculiar bond, with the reporter on scene weaving the narrative with a tone of awe. The camera captured the gentle exchanges between the sheep and kittens, symbolizing hope and unity within this tight-knit community. Interviews with Frank, Eric, and Dr. James provided deeper insights into this touching tale. Each recounted the events with emotional voices, 
illustrating how the community was united by this poignant and mysterious occurrence, as the story of the sheep and kittens spread. It won the hearts of people well beyond the local residents, on social media. The story sparked discussions and was widely shared, touching on themes of unexpected friendships, resilience, and the nurturing power of connections that transcended the confines of a small farm to captivate a national audience. A melancholic haze descended upon Frank's farm when the deceased mother cat was found in a neighboring field. This sorrowful event cast a shadow over the previously cheerful environment serving as a poignant reminder of the transient nature of life and adding a sorrowful layer to the extraordinary tale of the sheep and her feline companions. Frank, alongside Eric and Dr. James, stood in quiet reflection, mourning the loss of the mother cat. Frank's words were filled with grief, and Dr. James contemplated the deep connection that had formed between the sheep and the kittens, now marked by their shared loss. The community was quickly engulfed by the sad news of the mother cat's passing, leading to an outpouring of emotion. Many who had kept up with the story began to leave flowers and small tokens at the boundary of Frank's farm, a heartfelt expression of communal mourning and solidarity. In this time of grief, the sheep's innate protective instincts towards the kittens were more pronounced, touched by these circumstances. The local community came together to provide support, donations of food, blankets, and toys for the kittens flowed in, and volunteers dedicated their time to their care, the sheep, ever watchful continued her diligent supervision of her unlikely family, strengthening their bond as they grew into more than mere companions. They became a symbol of endurance and hope. This relationship, born from circumstance and solidified through shared experiences, offered the kittens comfort in the absence of their mother, echoing the profound loss they had endured. The unique relationship between the sheep and the kittens sparked considerable curiosity among experts and locals alike, leading to speculation about the nature of the sheep's protective behavior pondering whether it stemmed from natural instincts or a response to their collective struggle for survival. The mystery surrounding their bond led to widespread discussion and intrigue. Conversations emerged regarding the motivations behind the sheep's maternal actions, despite the species' difference. Frank and the community exchanged stories and insights, each trying to understand the underlying reasons for the sheep's nurturing tendencies. Many embraced the notion of a maternal connection, though not scientifically proven as a plausible explanation for the sheep's behavior, the idea that the sheep and kittens had formed a bond out of a necessity for survival began to resonate, with some suggesting that their partnership was essential for their mutual existence in the wild. This concept of hardship creating an unbreakable bond introduced a new layer to their relationship, enriching the narrative of their unique connection. Animal behavior specialists expressed fascination with the situation, offering expert analyses of the sheep's behavior. In a televised discussion, a specialist highlighted the unusual nature of such interspecies nurturing, sparking debates on the emotional capacities and instincts of animals. Along with the intricate relationship that challenged conventional beliefs, amid various theories and conjectures, Dr. James mulled over the persistent enigmas of their tale. He pondered how the kittens had come to be nestled in the sheep's fleece and how they managed to endure under such extraordinary conditions. These ponderings underscored the myriad of riddles and perplexities presented by nature. The tranquility of Dr. James's office was broken by the ringing of the phone. Eric was on the line, his tone a blend of excitement and astonishment. Dr. James, it's incredible, but I might have stumbled upon something that could clarify the whole situation with the sheep and kittens, he declared, his voice filled with intrigue and eagerness. Dr. James listened attentively, his interest intensified by the potential of solving the enigma. They rushed to Eric's barn, the location where the sheep had initially been found. Feeling the suspense as they approached the doorway, sensing they were potentially on the verge of a major discovery, let's uncover the Rayal story, Dr. James expressed, entering the barn with determination and optimism. Inside, Eric guided Dr. James to an old, dust-laden camera fixed in a corner, which he had completely overlooked until now. Eric admitted the camera had been there all along and might have recorded what transpired on that tempestuous evening. The possibility that the camera held the keys to their unanswered questions excited them both. As Eric set up the ancient monitor connected to the camera, Dr. James watched eagerly, his heart racing with the possibility of uncovering the truth. The monitor flickered on, showing grainy images of the barn interior. Hopefully, this old footage will illuminate our mystery, Dr. James commented, moving closer to get a better view of the display. The footage began to play, revealing scenes from the barn on the night in question. 
Dr. James and Eric intently scrutinized the screen, looking for any indicators. Although the video was occasionally unstable and indistinct, it represented their best opportunity to understand the unusual bond that had formed between the sheep and the kittens, amid the turmoil of the storm, with its lightning briefly revealing the inside of the barn, they observed the sheep in a state of panic and confusion. Scrambling for cover within the barn, the video offered an unedited glimpse into the distressing night that preceded the remarkable occurrences that ensued, as they kept watching, the silhouette of a mother cat emerged, Moving cautiously yet resolutely, with meticulous attention, she transported her newborn kittens into the barn one at a time, seeking refuge from the unyielding storm. The scene was touching. A poignant testament to a mother's instinct to safeguard her offspring against formidable challenges, the subsequent scenes in the video captured a truly heartwarming interaction. Upon spotting the small kittens, the sheep cautiously moved closer and enveloped them with her fleece, providing both warmth and protection. This gentle gesture was a moving scene to behold, suggesting a likely reason why the kittens were in her care, as the video progressed. It showed the sheep caring for the kittens in the days that followed, demonstrating their resilience and the surprising bond that had formed between them. The footage provided insights yet left certain questions, such as how they remained healthy in such atypical conditions, unanswered. As the video concluded, Dr. James and Eric were left in a reflective silence moved by the unfolding mystery of the sheep and the kittens, the story that emerged was one of survival and compassion. A remarkable act of kindness that defied natural boundaries, profoundly affecting them both, Dr. James invited the community to view the amazing footage discovered in Eric's barn. The story of the sheep and kittens surviving the storm captivated the room, filling it with wonder. The community, already engaged by the tale, felt a deeper connection, with a full understanding of their journey. A new sense of admiration and wonder enriched the already compelling narrative. Recent disclosures highlighted acts of compassion inherent in nature, reminding the community of the strong survival instincts and unexpected kindness in the animal kingdom. This narrative underscored the resilience and strength of both large and small creatures, resonating with the innate empathy present in all living beings. In celebration of the sheep and kittens' incredible ordeal, the community organized a festive event filled with joy and thankfulness. People from both near and far came to honor the animals that had become unintentional local celebrities. The atmosphere was alive with music, laughter, and shared stories as everyone gathered to celebrate the remarkable bond and survival of these animals. As the story gained more traction, several families showed interest in adopting the sheep and kittens. Eventually, loving homes were found for each of them, touched by their story. These families eagerly welcomed them into their homes. Committed to continuing the care and affection they had received, standing on Frank's farm, Dr. James paused to reflect on the recent happenings. He marveled at the strength of compassion evident both in the animal kingdom and among the individuals who had rallied to aid these beings. The capriciousness of nature, paired with the community's heartening reaction, underscored the deep connections that can form under the most unforeseen conditions. At its heart, the tale of the sheep and kittens was a story of overcoming incredible odds. Their passage from a tempestuous evening to the warm welcome of a supportive community told of resilience and hope. This narrative served as a testament to the power of unity and the innate drive to nurture and protect. Despite facing numerous obstacles, the relationship between the sheep and kittens illustrated a crucial theme. Solidarity in times of hardship, their experiences demonstrated how. When united by situations, different beings could establish strong, enduring ties. This was a narrative about cooperation and mutual support, showcasing the strength derived from collective efforts. As the saga of the sheep and kittens drew to a close, Dr. James and the community pondered the insights they had gained. This journey had deepened their understanding of animal emotions and the significance of empathy. These lessons extended beyond the confines of a small farm. Touching the hearts of all who had kept up with this extraordinary tale, in his reflections, Dr. James considered the enigmatic and often inexplicable aspects of nature. The story of the sheep and kittens stood as a vivid example of nature's unpredictability and its ability to surprise us with acts of kindness. It served as a reminder that, despite our insights, nature always harbors mysteries that can astonish us. The narrative concluded with a heartfelt farewell from the local community. Celebrating both the poignant journey and the enduring spirit of all those involved in their care, what started as a simple discovery evolved into a story marked by compassion, resilience, and the mysterious charm of nature, leaving a lasting impression on everyone involved. 
Do you have any insights after watching the above stories? Feel free to tell us in the comment sections below. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. See you next time.